In this video, I want to go back and change some redundancy here. So instead of having ship to and build to um, just totally be repeated fields that are redundant, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make another schema called address or PO address. So I come back to the top and just say add new item and I'm going to click schema and I'll call it PO address. And then here again by my naming convention, I will call it PO address. And then under that, I'll create the same elements. So I need a um, name, street, city, state, zip. And I believe if we go back, they had country as an attribute. I'm not sure why they just didn't make an ele element, but they were probably trying to teach something by that. So here we'll put uh, country. And now we'll put the restriction on the country, just like we did in a prior video. So here we'll put derived by restriction, enumeration, U.S., Canada, Great Britain. And let's save that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our original schema here, and we're actually going to delete all these uh, sub-items here. I'm going to pause the video and do that offline. By the way, you can try to do more than one delete at once, and it deletes them all at once, so it's a little bit faster. Now, we want to go to, before we can actually make a reference from one schema to another, what you have to do is set up your includes and imports. So you click on this, uh, again there's the root node and above the root node there's this node called schema. And then you want to go to your properties window and look for the word imports and then there's a thing called collection. So when it says collection here, that usually means when you click on the three dots or the ellipsis over here it will open a new screen. And then here's where you do your imports. So now I'm going to say add and then I can either add a schema from my same project or from some totally other different project. If I go to add references, if I have references to other schemas, I could get those as well. But right now I just want to reference PO address. And then what again it does here, which is kind of not the best, it always puts this little prefix. And so what I always do is I change this to a more user-friendly prefix. So since I'm dealing with addresses, I'm going to prefix it with ADDR. And then I'm ready and set up to go, so I click OK. Now, remember the ship to and build to were already set up as records, not elements. And when you set up a record, then you can come over here, click on data structure type, and then you'll get a list of items. So just to prove this, uh, if I go to an element, so you have no data structure type. You have a data type, but you don't have a data structure type. So when you click on it, what BizTalk calls a record, you can come here and you'll see data structure type and then you'll get a list of all the schemas that are in your imports and so here's our ADDR address so I click that and notice what it did there it automatically pulled in all those others and then the thing it did that we don't want is we want to rename this oh, let's see so the problem with the way we did this we used imports you can't come here now and notice the rename function is not available. So if I want to change build to to the same data structure type, I'm going to have an issue. So instead, what we're temporarily going to do is unattach this back to any type. We're going to go back to our schema. You're still going to click on imports, but now I'm going to delete this row. And let's change it to include instead of import. And now we say add and we do the same process. And now I click address.